the same. When, when I got into politics, uh, it was not like the way you've said as a mother, it was difficult. I had people questioning my um, desire to be a good mother. And uh, oh. that that was a little hurtful. Uh, you know, घर की काम भी रह जाते हैं जहाँ बच्चे को मैं you know हर जगह नहीं लेके जा सकती. Growing up, I didn't always agree with every decision government made. My interest was always talking about issues that affected people. Uh, AI has made it, um, given them the ability to almost have them say, you know, put anything there and make it seem that it's true, and so it's. Deeply worrying to me. An understanding of um, the division of powers is good because there's a real difference as to what the municipal government does. You could do a lot of positive, and it doesn't get the same type of attention. But if you make a mistake, it, it's very much highlighted. Um, there is a growing um, threat and danger. Don't hide your dreams. Don't hold them deep down inside. Share them with people, and they will become a reality. There are two type of people in the world. एक वो जो मिसालों पर कायम रहते हैं जिन्हें दूसरों से इंफ्लुएंस होना बहुत अच्छा लगता है यू नो सो दैट दे गेट अ ड्राइव फोर्स टू डू समथिंग टू मेक इट बिग इन द वर्ल्ड और दूसरे वो लोग होते हैं जो खुद एक मिसाल बनना पसंद करते हैं इन अ वर्ल्ड फुल ऑफ बाउंड्रीज इन अ वर्ल्ड फुल ऑफ लिमिटेशन These are the people who think beyond these limitations. ये वो लोग हैं जो एक better future के लिए कुछ करना चाहते हैं Not just for the existing generation, but also for the generation to come. Today, it's an honor for me that I have with me right here Ruby Sahota, member of Parliament, Brampton North, जो कि इस वक्त studio में मेरे साथ हैं and i have to be a little honest i am intimidated kyunki unki position tak pahunchna aasan nahi hai and she's right here sitting in front of me she also happens to be the first south asian canadian chief government whip in the history of canada aur aaj hi hamare liye ek bahut khaas baat hai ki aaj unhone apna waqt nikala aur wo hamare sath yahan pe maujood hain आज उनसे दिल से दिल की बातें करेंगे बिकॉज आफ्टर ऑल इट्स नॉट एन इंटरव्यू इट्स अ पॉडकास्ट वेलकम टू कैनेडा टीवी। आई हैव हियर विद मी रूबी साहुता चलिए साथ में उनका स्वागत करते हैं थैंक यू सो मच अमृत आई अप्रिशिएट द काइंड वर्ड्स एंड देर इज नो नीड uh for you to be intimidated if anything i am at in awe of what you have achieved and i'm looking forward to our conversation today thank you thank you so much but ek cheez zarur hai ki kahin na kahin uh you know being a woman myself being a mother i have a little self doubt in me hmm. how would you like to give a message to our audience maybe uh, i think you're making me feel things by <laughs> uh, by the way uh, you've introduced me that i've probably haven't felt sometimes we are just following our dreams our passions but um what i hope to be able to achieve from uh breaking whatever glass ceilings i have broken or people perceive that i have broken um i hope that there'll be others to follow in my footsteps and really it's uh what gives me the most joy in being able to face the challenges and carry on mm-hmm. is that if i don't that people will not see themselves in these positions right so it's so important uh i was born and raised here and uh my parents struggled a lot uh when they immigrated here in the 70s as do so many immigrants no matter when their journey starts uh but we didn't have role models that look at like it. us that mm-hmm. um and and there weren't a lot of women even let's just say even women that didn't look like us uh though they didn't exist either in these types of fields uh very often it was either uh women who didn't have children or women who had grown children you know not those that were in their um middle years that were entering into uh careers so you saw them in much more 
traditionally. Traditionally um, domestic. Absolutely, in those types of areas. And, and you definitely didn't see South Asians. So uh, for me, uh, we are seeing more and more now, and we're seeing um, – people of Indian descent, uh, Pakistani, Sri Lankan, all, all of those areas in so many sectors. But I still find that I have young girls that will come up to me uh, often and say that they are inspired to get into politics so because I think there's a subconscious a subconscious thinking that, you know, if you see somebody doing something, it gives you the confidence exactly. to, to to do the same or do even more. And so that's my hope, really. They just need the a nudge somewhere. Yeah. And you're doing that and, for and, us. And you don't even have to nudge them intentionally, right? Unintentionally. Uh, I think they get the message that anything is possible for them. When I got into politics, uh, it was not like the way you've said as a mother it was difficult i had uh, he was one years old and i it was a new mother and i was struggling to figure out whether i was going to go back into my career of law mm-hmm. or enter into this new opportunity that i saw before me uh the world of politics and so it was a risk it wasn't the right time in terms of my family and all of that uh, you know if if I could have chosen that maybe I would have chosen 10 20 years down the road but I knew if I didn't take the opportunity now I may have I may miss that window and so it was so important for me to figure out um who I could get on board uh with between family and friends and uh and I was encouraged a great deal by by my family to do it and not to worry about the small details Uh, but i had doubt just like you say you have doubt yes. i had a lot of yes. doubt i backed out many times i thought about it how did you out. overcome them um my father really it was my father who said that you don't want to wake up one day thinking what if what and if? that is some something that can really that that's enough to and i'm sure many people have those yes, types of regrets yes we have right? those moments and and you ha- and you don't want to live with regret you want to try and fail maybe and i've failed at many things before too so i just want to say to to anyone who's thinking about a career in politics just go for it um even in the failures you learn so much you learn from them so much. people questioning my um desire to be a good mother and uh oh. that that was a little hurtful because i think many women that also want to follow their uh dreams, dreams their and passion. passions uh some women and it's not due to i don't think any malintent but i think it's just what they were grew up with what they believe Correct. and because of something that they were limited in a certain way they feel that you should be limited in that way Correct. and maybe you can only do one or the other and i'll say ठीक है मे बी आई नो वंस परफेक्ट मैं सब कुछ परफेक्ट नहीं करती हूँ मैं मैं कुत्ते ना कहते यू नो घर के काम भी रह जाते हैं जहाँ बच्चे को मैं यू नो हर जगह नहीं लेके जा सकती पर वेरी थिन लाइन ऑफ डिफरेंस की जो औरतें बाहर काम भी करने जा रही हैं वो भी अपना दिल घर छोड़ के जाती हैं इट्स नॉट दैट इट्स नॉट दैट ईजी एज वेल सो But I think by doing it, even some of those women that felt that I shouldn't be, you know, especially in this career, that too much time is spent traveling and doing other things. Um, I think they, I think they see now, years later, mm. um, that somehow I've been able to, with the help of my family, do both things. And it also gave my husband, who, who's also a working, working man, he's a, he's yeah. a doctor, he has a clinic, um, it gave him the ability to step forward and have this relationship with my son that maybe he would have maybe that had, he would have missed that he would have missed or he wouldn't have had such a strong relationship with him and he's his basketball coach and his mentor as well in in many ways growing up i didn't always agree with every decision government made i was you know just like a lot of young people in university oh. i was a bit of an activist i i um went to many protests i'd never been in parliament before other than on the lawn with signs to protest different issues and i saw myself as somebody who challenged 
um, challenged issues and and used my voice to speak up for others. And it's what led me into being a lawyer. Uh, so were those the experiences that actually shaped your role into becoming what you are today? Were those the experiences that you had? Those were absolutely the experiences. Um, I think the fact that I grew up in a family that was very um, civically engaged, talked a lot about mm. the news every day. Uh, my dad was a big political buff. My my siblings are into politics as well, not to the degree I am. I mean, I studied political science. I was really all for it. Um, but but they're, they have some interest as well. They're big supporters of mine, and I couldn't do it without my siblings. Uh, but I've, oftentimes, uh, the discussion around the dinner table was, you know, what did the government do today? What What's going on? Has it always news? been your interest? It's always been my interest. Ever since you were a child? Ever since I was a child, yeah. <laughs> How? Oh, not not to become an not to become an MP. But you were pretty aware about <clears throat> you know government and politics, and you you love talking about uh, my, this topic. My interest was always talking about issues that affected people, right? So mm. um, to be aware of your surroundings, to be aware of what was going on, and and honestly, it's interesting that people think certain things are talking politics. I think talking about anything is politics, right? Because yes, if, if you're talking about um, the education that you're receiving or um, the healthcare system or anything, really the traffic, or it's all related to some Everybody's level. complaining as well. But what I really want to know from you is that uh, when you were a child, I mean, when you were really young, has it ever happened to you ki aap kabhi apne doston se baat karte hue ye issues ko share karte the aur kehte the agar main hoti to main iska is tarike se ilaaj karti you know what i i'm sure i did uh because i had very strong opinions on things mm. always um However, I think, you know, that's a question we should ask ourselves more often. Yes. I would love for people to be more solution oriented and, and to say, Agar main hoti, main ye karti. most of the times what I um, get from those that want to discuss issues are the fact that they don't, um, they don't agree with a certain policy, but they don't really um, know what they would want Correct. instead and what they would prefer. So I think every child uh, every in our child. country and every person should, should be asking question. themselves, um, because I think when you put yourself in those uh, shoes, yeah. then you realize that these decisions are not very easy. You know, yes. the decisions that people that have the the privilege to make these decisions, of course, because you're given that privilege, um, do it, you know, generally with maybe a philosophy that they have in mind. But I, I truly do believe that people who get into politics, uh, no matter from what party, they have a vision, but they're trying to improve Canada in their own way yeah. um, with their vision, with their thinking. And I think they do it for the right reason. So we could have differences in how we view issues should be dealt with. But I think it's very important for us to like you said, dig deeper and understand, okay, well, what is it that you would do? Because m many things are complicated. People yeah. simplify things that are very complicated. And um, I think it's important for us to have those those conversations at, in our homes. But I also want to know, uh, how do you envision on leveraging the use of technology? Today, we live in a world जहाँ हमें पता है कि हम सोशल मीडिया पे अगर अपने कोई राइट्स या अपने कोई स्पीच को दुनिया से शेयर करना चाहते हैं वी नो दैट इज द प्लेटफॉर्म वी कैन गो टू बट इट ऑल्सो हैव सम नेगेटिव इम्पैक्ट पॉजिटिव प्लस नेगेटिव इम्पैक्ट सो जस्ट जस्ट यस्टरडे इवनिंग आई जॉइन द ग्रुप ऑफ यंग पीपल देर ग्रुप ऑर्गेनाइजेशन नेम इज एम्पावर हर And uh, the topic was misinformation and disinformation. I did a presentation and a workshop with them. Um, and it was really interesting hearing from the youth because I think this is the biggest challenge for democracies around the world. There is good that has come out of social media and AI, of course, but there are a lot of alarm bells ringing right now as to the damage it is also yeah. doing to our societies. You know, we, we looked at... The ability to be able to spread messages like during the Arab Springs of Twitter, how how fast um, people could share the news and content of what was happening. 
Good day. And and that is important, um, especially to be able to do live journalism out of conflict zones and and keep us aware. Like we are currently um, viewing two conflicts in the world um, live time almost uh, on social media platforms, and that's never happened before, right? So um, it's interesting to understand the experience we're going through right now, but. What my biggest fear and worry is, is I wish I almost could reverse time in a way. Um, I I feel we're becoming more polarized because of yeah. the way we absorb content. Originally, social media, Facebook, Instagram, all of these things were sources for friends and family friends to, to communicate, communicate, share pictures, you know, feel in touch with each other. Um, it is no longer really that. It's no. become a way people absorb uh, news and also share their opinions. Share their opinions. And sometimes the opinions are so strong that it can actually impact negatively on someone who, you know, wants to maybe come to a country like Canada, but somewhere they are stopping themselves. Well, and, and sometimes they're genuine opinions, uh, which I don't mind because in a free society, of course, we have freedom of speech. Yeah. But oftentimes we're now influenced by how many clicks and, you know, likes and all of these things that Correct. we're getting. And, and it's about the monetization yeah. and no longer about the message, right? Correct. And so that is where That's... my fear lies. And of course, there are there is the spread of misinformation, which is done by, I think, you know, misinformation is just you don't believe there's the content to be false and there's no malice in, in sharing. However, you're not critically uh, analyzing the analyzing. information and you're quickly sending share on WhatsApp, on wherever, because these videos, uh, whether they're, you know, uh, deep fakes or um, come from other countries that wish to disturb and disrupt democracies, um, there are a lot of uh, players out there that don't uh, that are against the way of life in Canada. They're against the fact that we are an inclusive, accepting society, and mm. they do not want to see that succeed. And so my fear is that, you know, we saw it during COVID-19, that people need to get, um, you know, social media literacy um, and we need to all do our part. Maybe pause for a minute before we share something that yes. angers us, right? If you if you view something that is making you extremely angry, angry and upset, give it a second. Do not just share that content. Go to another source, source to of verify. Get yourself informed. Get first. yourself informed. See if CBC or whoever is, you know, I've had just in the last two weeks, so many people from my riding send me things uh, that were complete deep fake videos yeah. um, that made it look like they were CBC clips with the prime minister announcing something oh or God. another. That's very the, disturbing. And the prime minister and many prime ministers around the world are targets now of this, right? And so uh, AI has made it, um, given them the ability to almost have them say, you know, put anything there and make it seem that it's true. And so it's deeply worrying to me um, because there were those people out there before that were interested in maybe gaining some money or fraud, defrauding somebody. But now the interest is a lot more uh, of this broad, let's disrupt society, disrupt these democratic institutions, let's polarize and, you know, divide Correct. communities. And I I cannot accept that. None of us should be accepting that. And therefore, we really need to verify what we're sharing. Do not share these things unless you can verify it, right? So let's teach our parents hmm. who are used to trusted journalists giving them the news and information. Good. And now when they see and they read something, they're more likely to trust and believe yeah. uh, and think these things are verified and therefore they share it. Um, they are, they do not come from a time where <laughs> everything is, you know, so much of what you're reading could be fake. Good. And so I think we need to figure out how maybe our youth can And this is a pressing issue which, you know, it's not going to get solved so easily. It's, it's going to remain. It's going to take a lot of regulation, a lot of awareness, a lot of willingness to um, uh, to have rules around this. We definitely had them when it come, came to radio, television, um, you know, uh, speech that would 
incite hate or violence. You could there's certain things you cannot shout in a crowded room or a theater like fire, right? You can't go into a theater and yell fire and have yeah. people trample over each other. That's that's a criminal action. So we we had a lot of rules and regulations around these things, but now that our life is being lived on social media, um, we have been late to adapt. And create mm-hmm. rules and regulations because everyone is screaming fire on social media. Yeah. And and what are we doing in response to that, right? So it's really important. But when governments do do something, there is this backlash of, you know, freedom of speech, uh, freedom, freedom, freedom of, of speech. expression. So we've got to find that balance. Balance between that. And we've mm. got to get people aware enough that they're understanding so we what they're reading. So we basically need awareness regarding that. Uh, is there a way that uh, you believe that we get a platform from the government where a common man's voice can be taken seriously where we have our local issues. Mm-hmm. Say, you're, you're into Brampton North. Yeah. That is your area. Yeah. कोई ऐसी जगह हमें दी जा सकती है एज अ प्लेटफॉर्म जहां हम अपनी आवाज आपके साथ शेयर कर सकें हमारे इश्यूज आपके साथ शेयर कर सकें एंड देन यू नो वी कैन आल्सो बी अ पार्ट ऑफ डिसीजन मेकिंग समहाउ इज देयर अ वे Absolutely. Uh it's a good question. It's how do you get engaged, right? Yeah. With your local representatives, um with governments whether it's municipal, provincial or federal. Um and I think we live in a country that uh, it is still possible in terms of the size of our writings it's very easy to just have a one-on-one meeting with your member of parliament not hard at all just email them and say i i need to speak to my member of parliament yeah. ask them to give me a call um or ask them to set up a meeting with me uh and if you are their constituent they they will meet with you but there's also other avenues right like the positive of social media is that yes you can express your points of view on uh, you know to them directly through these um through these means it's not the best way i think having a conversation over the phone or through yeah. email is better i have a youth council where i constantly get feedback from from young people as to how they see the direction of our country um oftentimes we create reports that i can submit later on whether it's for the budget um or other ideas they come up with and they also help me balance my perspective because oftentimes so many the people that reach out to me are more of their their parents age mm. and it's nice to hear from high school and university students it's nice students. to hear from them and i'm starting up a women's council as well really? in honor of uh, international women's day so that will be starting up later in this month and so that the purpose of that is also to just engage with women make sure women's issues are being addressed and and women feel free to express themselves and their issues maybe uh, in a private safe space um cuz oftentimes those that are most um involved in politics and interacting with their members of parliament tend to be men and yes, they they tend to be the ones at the forefront uh, i am surrounded by men in my sector so it's nice to be able to give women a safe spot where they can um in the app you know without men being present really talk about how they really feel about certain things and issues so that there are so many ways really we're just common people you'll see me in the grocery store <laughs> you'll see me you know um driving my son to his basketball practice or this and the other and all the other parents there they you know sometimes at first are, are a little surprised to see me um but i let them know well i just live in the community too just like you do and and live my regular life and do my job on top of it right so we're just all doing so we'll best. be heard mm-hmm. just give it a try it's not that <laughs> difficult <laughs> it, it's really not it, it, but it does require time and effort it's, that you have yeah. to reach out you have to pick up a phone or you have to and email. the issues should be common i see aap koi bhi koi bhi aisa issue leke mat pahunch jaiyega i just want to tell it to the audience <laughs> कोई घर में कोई तकलीफ हो रही है ये लेके मत पहुंचेगा प्लीज आई सरप्राइजिंगली गेट दैट इज वेल रियली यस आई गेट a lot of issues about domestic uh ways to deal with things people want advice oh um women to women sometimes having known i was a lawyer people will so come in for so you've been a lawyer of which uh, 
Which field? Uh, well, I, I did a little bit of criminal law and uh, oh only, only at the, my first year of practice. The rest of the time I did corporate litigation work. Um, so th- I will, you're right. Like if people need legal advice, they really need to go to a practicing lawyer. Right yeah. now that's not my role to provide particular legal advice. An understanding of um, the division of powers is good because there's a real difference as to what the municipal government does, Mm -hmm. what the provincial government is responsible for and does, and what the federal government does. Oftentimes, I do hear people of our community think that the federal government controls all those layers of government. Okay. um, And that if they come to me, I I can change Uh. anything down from education to your garbage. I really can't. I, you know, I have good relationships with people in those areas. And of course, I'll open the doors for you to get a meeting with that person, um, speak to the person that uh, can directly affect their issue. But we should have a basic knowledge, I think, of the Canadian system. Also, I really feel that I think we should be more educated. We should be given that knowledge. What is the actual difference between, you know, the duties? So how is that possible? Uh, so uh, I, I do. I mean, there is. A, I, I'm sure there is some limitation. There is something that is missing. The string is missing. I do put it out on my mailers. Um, you could just use Google <laughs> to find out. You know what level of government uh, concerns. You know the traffic on my street versus what level of government. You know, should I go to regarding uh, the care in my hospital? What level should I go to regarding uh, foreign relations or something happening around the? There, there's a very easy you know mm. way to I think inform yourself. I feel for those that you know did not go through the education system here. We do have civics yes, education civics. in the school system. Um, however. Even that is easily forgotten, and people forget yeah, what they learned. Uh, so school, it never hurts to just it never hurts to just ask, yeah, right? I know. So I mean, you can ask, you can come, and uh, we can direct you and and help you. Like I said, make an appointment with the other uh, level, uh, show you what the path is to mm-hmm. be able to advocate and speak up for yourself. That's um, right. That is important. So that I, is also very important. Yeah. I'll never reject somebody who's just trying to get their point across. Uh, we'll definitely sit and talk about it and, and maybe figure out how uh, we can work on uh, advocacy for their issue. That's yeah. very nice. One question, Ruby Sahutra Ji, I want to ask you, is there a lot of scrutinization or there have been times where you've been put under the lens of judgment by the people you know who are around you? who happens to be someone very close to you and uh, that constant judgment because you're a first South Asian woman who happens to be a member of parliament. Mm-hmm. Do you ever feel that sometimes in your life? Kabhi hua hai aapke saath? Bilkul hua hai. Um, I try to focus on the positive because um, I want to encourage more women to step forward. I don't want them to be afraid. Mm. Um, this is an area where a lot of people are told, you know, Ren, they'll, it's not, this is not worth it. It's not worth it. It's too much um, negativity around it. People will bring you down and tear you down. And absolutely, you're under the limelight. Uh, any word you say or any um, thing you do is scrutinized and gets a lot of attention, especially if it's something, you know, that um, people could see as uh, construing as negative. Mm. You could do a lot of positive and it doesn't get the same type of attention. But if you make a mistake, it, it's very much highlighted. A lot of people do not want to go through that. Um, there is a growing um, threat and danger uh, in our country to members of parliament. Even in the UK, they have just upped uh, the level of security. I often, you know, um, have people come up to me in a store or somewhere else and oh. say, "Wow, you know, up akeli I know. And I'm say, I always say, "Akeli, you know, the kya baat hai? It's not a big deal. Uh, yeah. You know, I feel perfectly fine. I, I do my grocery. I, I go shopping. I do everything on my own." Um, but I, I think 
eventually those days may uh, may come to an end. I hope not, because I think that is the beauty of Canada, mm. um, that people, you know, accept that there is um, a time and a place to interact with your members of parliament okay. about politics, um, but we don't cross the line of, you know, into violence and um, into threatening behavior. But we've seen a little bit more of that. Uh, more and more, there's a threatening environment. So I think I worry that, you know, less women will want to enter uh, this field because of that. We're trying to put more protections in place. I I work um, in an area as the chief government whip where I am working with parliamentary security and different police forces to try to make sure that people feel secure and protected and, and, do, and still... Um, free to vote the way they, their conscience and, you know, that there's no intimidation. Um, but other than that, I've been hugely supported by my community, hugely supported. And you would think, you know, um, that maybe only women would support me, but mostly men have supported me really? and, uh, never felt that, you know, um, uh, never felt that I wasn't capable as a woman to do this job. And so I, I just want to say thank you to the South Asian community, really. Um, I think they are, and, and other communities will see it at times, they are uh, so active and involved in involved politics. Involved in politics. Yes, in, in they're community. very active. And they will give you the support and they will go out for you and uh, they will fundraise and they will, you know, do all of those things that are needed. Um, and, you know, thanks to my family as well, that, that has helped me a lot. Um, so the positives that have come out of it, I also see that my son at a young age, he doesn't have gender stereotypes necessarily. He, when he was very young, he thought only women went into politics. Um, and now at an older age, he's in grade five, uh, He's run for student body uh, class president, and wow. he won just a couple of weeks ago. Bravo! <laughs> yeah, and and he texted me, and I said what, and and told me I was in Ottawa, and he told me, guess what, mom, I I won, and I'm class president, and I said, wow, I didn't even know you wanted to do that because he always tells me I don't want to go into politics, but somewhere I somewhere think deep down he's uh you know been given this ability and confidence. Um, to shine because he sees that his parents don't hold back. They mm -hmm. are doing whatever, um, you know, whether we do it um, perfectly or not. He's told me, well, mom, I see you make speeches all the time. So all I had to do was go and make a speech. Oh, and so uh, and I promised things that I thought were good for the class. And I was like, okay. Uh, and so I just did it. So somewhere along the line, you know, he, he kind of sees that, okay, well, my mom can do this. So why You've can't I? You've set a benchmark. Right. And so I think, you know, when I when I see things like that, uh, when I hear him say things like that, I all that regret and doubt that I had somewhere along the line when he was growing up, I would think, oh, my God. Is he going to hate me when he's older? Is he going to say, mom, you weren't around enough or you missed this or you missed that? I, I try to balance all of those things, by the way, but sometimes it can't be a perfect balance. This feeling, this feeling, how do you have to do it? You you know, because you see your child uh, And then when excelling. you see them excelling. When you see them excelling, you know it is because of they... What steps you took for yourself because they have role models they oh. have you know someone showing them that they it doesn't have to be a perfect balance but you should do whatever you know you dream of and, not forgetting and yourself big. as an entity yeah wow. and i don't think no matter what job it is I, it doesn't have to be in politics it could be anything but if yeah. they think that you know my parents work hard i think somewhere uh, you know, it drives them to work hard as well. Wow, this is really inspiring for me and for many other women who must be watching. Because sometimes it happens in India, there are a lot of mothers who don't give their priority to their work and give their child a child. Because they think that financially, I think husband is able and I might not even have to do it. I can still take a break. But when they come here, to financially support Canada being a country mm -hmm. where paisa chahiye yeah. husband and wife dono ko job karne ki in fact people are even doing three three jobs ma'am so jab wo yahan aati hain kahin na kahin yeah you know they have to 
बिल्ड एम सेल्व एंड अपनी एक स्ट्रेंथ जुटानी पड़ती है काम करने के लिए सो आई ट्रू आई एंड आई थिंक माई मॉम हैड टू फॉर मी आई वॉन्टेड टू um because they were able to build us to a point where it's become a choice mm-hmm. and uh and and no matter what a woman decides if she wants to stay home and take care of her child i think that's a wonderful, wonderful choice thing. and i think there's you know it's it's beautiful to be able to spend those times uh, and those moments with your child but i also don't feel for those that can't they should feel it, too guilty about it because there is somewhere along the line there's some other benefit that you're giving to your child by them having a hard working mother in their lives yeah yeah definitely that's true um what do you love about brampton bramptonians is that what you call it <laughs> bramptonians um well i've yeah i was born in toronto but i moved to brampton um when i was in grade 4 and uh midway through the year and uh I've lived in Brampton for an incredibly incredibly long time and I think Brampton has so much potential I I do feel on social media everyone likes to um you know display Brampton in a very negative light yeah. it's become a trend it's become very popular i mean i have my relatives from the us that live in new york call and sometimes say oh my god brampton ch kya ho gaya and i'm like wow new york mein itna hota hai itna kuch hota hai and but they're so tuned into news channels here and like our, how neg- our that is what i said how negatively yes. you are portraying brampton i mean brampton and, is so beautiful and i sent the them articles food is amazing of the stats of yeah. crime which is way worse there than so to some degree i i think it's it's fine we have to work on some issues kyunki perception ye hai and perception becomes political reality Correct. um however there are so many positive things and trust me mm-hmm. negative jada highlight ho raha hai positive Correct. highlight nahi ho raha but there is more positive that is happening in brampton when i go into our schools i see that uh, our children are competing for these incredible you know very difficult programs they're um in these special clubs where they're competing at you know world championships we have a Brampton Robotics team that's won uh incredible um Canadian championships and international championships and all of those kids are are right here from Brampton our national you know soccer team yeah. uh, TFC has so many bramptonians our basketball teams all around you know north america the the nba so many drafts from brampton so we're amazing at sports we have incredible talent in the music industry whether it's punjabi or canadian yeah, american yeah so diverse in fact so we, we've got so many actors out in in hollywood and uh we've got a lot of talent here in brampton and i i've got to say our universities around canada are full of bramptonians as well Good uh the average gpa of a brampton resident mm-hmm. is one of the highest we have more well educated people in brampton than around canada wow. so uh, you know the, the, there is a lot of promise um to the talent that is coming out of brampton That's true. and we should recognize that yes some kids are having challenges and difficult times uh, especially some of the really young ones that went through the pandemic i'm hearing from teachers and um that they are having some struggles but by by far kids are you know either doing well or very very well um so yes we've got to make sure everyone does well but that often doesn't happen in any society but also we need to uh, uh, take up this point ki ye wo bacche hain jo apni cultural language apni apni language pe bhi pura pura dhyan rakh rahe hain hindi english punjabi yeah. french yeah i mean they, they're trying to do everything i they mean are. they are my french my son is in a french immersion school yeah. as well and uh and i'm i'm surprised by that proudly they has. accept that you know i'm from a punjabi culture and yeah. uh, and we didn't have that when we grew up we were trying to hide the culture we came from the parents is it absolutely we hid our food we hid our you know um cultural dress mm-hmm. we didn't want our parents coming to school with wearing a sari or a suit um it it took a lot of you know trying because 
at that time, everyone was trying to fit Still into accepting. North American, mm-hmm. into Canadian society and felt that they needed to show that they were Caucasian-like. Oh. And I don't think I ever recall growing. And I grew up in Brampton that anyone would bring a bronta to school lunch or something <laughs> or biryani or whatever it is, you know. That didn't happen. But, but now, these my kids, son has no problem taking that to school. They for are lunch. proudly accepting what yeah. who they are. They are and proudly. In fact, they are inspiring others. They are, you yeah. know, they are they're very proud. They're celebrating their heritage celebrating. months. They are celebrating even other cultures and even communities. Even other cultures. Right? Like I have, my son is friends with, you know, a uh, few... Uh, different students that have Nigerian background and they bring their, you know, food as well. And it's, it's a normal thing. Like, yeah. and, and they're, they've normalized it so much that it almost surprises me when I, I see it and it makes me so proud. It makes yeah. me I think Brampton proud. is a home to such a diverse culture. We, of course, Indian as a community, कहीं ना कहीं हमारी पॉपुलेशन है थोड़ी ऊपर बट वी स्टिल देर सो मच ऑफ एक्सेप्टेंस इन आस एज अ कम्युनिटी I completely love Brampton and the food is amazing. Yes. If any time if I have to eat a good food, I think Brampton is the place to go. Yeah, absolutely. Um and for for those that are interested come up to our nation's capital as well. I spend half my, you know, half my year in Ottawa, half my year in Brampton and uh Ottawa is a unique experience as well. I think sh- there is more shawarma shops in Ooh. Ottawa than Tim Hortons or anything. Uh it's the shawarma capital of Canada. And so, <laughs> you know, this kitne na kitne wahan par Middle Eastern culture ko bahut highlight ki- ki- yeah. kiya jata hai and, and that's the beauty of Canada, right? Definitely, definitely. Mm-hmm. So in 10 saalon mein aapne ब्राम्टन में क्या ऐसे पॉजिटिव चेंजेस देखे हैं जो आपको बड़े कमाल के लग रहे हैं positive changes कई है one of the positive changes that I think is um, should be highlighted is that Brampton used to be only a bedroom community where people it was a more quieter community where uh, smaller obviously like, i mean no no denying the fact that there's been a big population change um but nobody really worked in Brampton it was mm. very rare and people didn't go to any higher level of education here necessarily and now we have a, a big expansion you talked about food uh, back when i was growing up no one would mention Brampton and food oh. necessarily you were always going out to mississauga or toronto uh, to dine or eat and now uh, we have a lot of different establishments right here we have huge companies like mda that is a, you know um plays a major role in our space agency and every space mission that we've had um we have a lot of huge companies like Amazon and um and others that have opened up here we have a medical school that's coming uh very soon so there there's been a lot of potential more growth in the downtown core so it's really become a place where you could you know uh live you know um live laugh and play all of those things can be done within meet within meet up meet up people and yes. call it home yes canadian um chief government whip ye term sunne mein jitna acha lag raha hai but i am sure it's very difficult to be where you are at iska exact matlab kya hai aur aapki kya kya isme duties hain Um, so Indian Parliament may be a uh, government whip hota hai, and so some people may be aware, um, but the government whip's role is to make sure that uh, jo government policies bills liya rahi hai, wo bills pass hon. Uh, make sure we have the support uh, in a minority government this role is incredibly uh, challenging and difficult to make sure in every every vote that we have in the house of commons uh mujhe malum hona chahiye bhi hamare mp's किस तरह वोट पा रहे हैं एन डी पी के किस तरह पा रहे हैं कंजर्वेटिव सो आई आई वर्क विद देयर पार्टी वेप्स ऑल्सो it can be a little bit of a human resource type role as well where we are managing uh issues that mp's have uh trying to make sure that um those issues are resolved and uh we have committees that study different issues we they amend bills and legislation us committees ka organization kya hoga kis 
کیڑا ممبر اس کمیٹی پر سرو کرے گا ہوز بیسٹ سوٹیڈ وتھ دیئر اسکلس ٹو گو ان ڈفرینٹ ایریاز ان کے رول کیا ہوئیں گے سو دا گورنمنٹ وپس مینیجز آل آر آف دیز تھنگس آر انٹرنیشنل یو نو ایسوسیشنز اینڈ ٹرپس دیٹ ہیپن یو نو وٹ آر وچ ممبرز آف آورز شوڈ گو آن دا ورلڈ اسٹیج ٹو ریپرزینٹ ڈی دیز ڈفرینٹ تھنگس سو آئی ایم اے ریزورس ٹو آور کاکس Uh, but uh, also have a responsibility to um, the prime minister at the same time to make sure that our government fulfills the commitments that we have promised to people and uh, makes sure that the uh, legislation has been passed in the successfully pass the House of Commons there through. So that, that, that's the role. That's a lot It's of hard work. to explain. <laughs> It's really hard to explain. Um, hard to understand, but uh, hard for you to do. And still you manage to look this beautiful. Uh, it's, a behind <laughs> the, it's a behind the scenes type of role more so than at the forefront. But it's managing everything behind the scenes. So that you have to see the House of Commons, you know, on television, everything looks well organized well and managed. Organized yes. and well managed. Mm-hmm. Wow. Yeah. That's a very difficult role. If someone is thinking about it, This is your time to get inspired by Ruby Sahota. Jate jate mein aap se ye baat karna chahongi ki we as an Indian community, we being an Indian uh, and being inspired by you and many other all those women out there. Shana Swad ke legends. Hum le kar rahe hain SKL, a property that we built our baby. Swad ke legends, Shana Swad ke legends. first time ever happening in canada that to in hindi so it's a hindi cooking reality show kya aapka kuch kehna hai iske bare mein well i saw a little clip earlier today uh, of the show and i'm so excited uh, that uh, we have our very own uh, show that can highlight the talent that canadians have and like you mentioned the food is very good in brampton and yeah. i would say the surrounding areas so wo jo chefs hain ja apne ghar mein kaam karte hain ja restaurant mein karte hain unko highlight karna unko recognition dena we're just is- trying our best to give a platform to anybody who you know who wants to get out there and show the people that you know indian food is Yes, mm, lips smacking. And it's innovative, right? It's yeah. not the same Indian food. I mean, garki roti, you know, no one nothing can compare it to that at times. But uh we are really evolving and innovating and you know, With all these twist. fusions, there's all so it's interesting, it's fun, it's exciting and I think um we didn't have a lot of restaurants and options like that when we, you know, years ago, but now as I drive by, there's a, a street food and all these different things coming from India that I uh, was never exposed to. to yeah. and so it's exciting to see and i'm glad that they have a platform to uh, showcase their talent we and just you've need done your it. best wishes oh <laughs> best wishes to you and of course um everyone should watch the show i think thank you it's so really much. produced um with a high quality and i don't think we've had anything like it here in canada oh that's a big thing to say <laughs> and listen to oh thank you thank you so much jaja the ek ایک میسج آپ اپنی آڈینس کے لیے اس کیمرہ میں دیکھ کے پلیز بول دیجیے اینی میسج دیٹ یو نو جسٹ سیٹ Well, um, this was a wonderful conversation and really uh, every day I wake up, I am just so um, thankful for everything that uh, your support has given me and uh, I want you to also feel confident in, in your vision and your dreams and I hope that uh, you won't let anything hold you back and uh, whatever it is that, you know, you want, uh, figure out a way. Find a mentor if that's needed. Talk to people about it. Don't hide your dreams. Don't hold them deep down inside. Share them with people and they will become a reality. Believe in yourself. Thank you. Thank you so much. It was a wonderful conversation and you have inspired all of us. Thank you. Thank you.